Pluto square Pluto. Yellow Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We're going to be talking about my friend Pluto. Welcome all you Pluto people. Come on in. You found your home. So, everyone has Pluto at some point squaring their natal Pluto. Transiting Pluto, squaring your natal Pluto. Obviously speaking, some of us are alive when that happens and some of us are dead when that happens if you die young. So this is somewhere between the ages of 30 and 60, this transit happens depending on the year you were born and the speed of Pluto traveling. So currently in the sky, Pluto is in Capricorn. So that means all you Pluto Libra people are on board for this transit. So orb wise, people use anywhere between one to 10 degrees as far as a standard orb for transits. A lot of times with transits, we narrow it down to one degree. I'm going to actually go the complete opposite here, and I'm going to do a whole house or whole sign aspect, meaning that Capricorn squares Libra, period. doesn't matter what degree your Pluto in Libra is or what degree Pluto in Capricorn is. So this whole time that Pluto in Capricorn, it's putting tension on that Pluto Libra, and then furthermore putting tension on the Venus as in Venus rules that Pluto Libra. So Pluto square Pluto, on some levels, it's a great report card. It's the midterms. It's kind of like, hey, what have you been doing? What are you doing? Are you doing, so to speak, your Pluto work? And then also it's kind of like wanting you to look at a particular aspect of Pluto work. So if you think about Pluto and Libra, there's a certain relationship oriented aspect of Libra. So all those Pluto and Libra people have that ability to see into the dark of the underpinnings of relating with other humans, either as intimate partners or close friends or, or acquaintances, all the different things that go in behind the scene of trying to relate with humans, all the choices, all the choices of your subconscious, all your choices about being in relationship, whether or not you need to be in relationship. And then along comes the Pluto and Capricorn, putting tension on the structure of life. There's no better way to test something than put it under stress. Everything works well when it's all peaceful and calm get a little agitated, irritated, upset, and see how well things work. So Pluto and Capricorn fundamentally is talking about how you structure, what you prioritize, what you put your energy into over long periods of time. And so often, especially when, you know, you get into your 30s, you know, the beginning of life, so to speak, it's the beginning of becoming an adult or letting go of being a child. You know, letting go of being, so to speak, a kid, you know, and start stepping into what does it mean to be an adult? You know, relationship, are you in relationship? Do you want to be in relationship? What kind of relationships are your relationships helping your, the structure of your life or hindering them? Is the subconscious aspect of your life keeping you from understanding this. So much of the way we relate to people is tied up in our Plutonian wounds, particularly for those with Pluto and Libra. A big part of understanding your Pluto is figuring out the wounds so you can then turn those into your superpowers. So when you have Pluto and Libra, part of the wounding you're figuring out is relationship. And the structure of relationship right now with Pluto and Capricorn, it's like, hey, 
Your choices about relationship, how are they working out? Let's put your life under a little stress. Thinking about the whole Corona Rona that talk about a little stress. You know, I think on some levels, the Corona Rona put everyone under stress and everyone got to look at the structures of their life. And do they work well when there's stress? So anyways, this Pluto square, Pluto, Pluto and Capricorn square, Pluto and Libra. I'll probably do a couple more videos on this particular subject, dive deeper into it. Fundamentally, this is a big transit for all you Libra and Pluto folks. It's a big transit for all of us, but particularly for you. So you want to look at where Saturn sits in your chart natally and also where Saturn's transiting in your chart, you know. But if you look at Saturn natally, where you, you know, what house you have Capricorn in, will kind of help you understand where this structure needs to be applied, you know, where you need to kind of put tension on your choices, where you need to put tension on the subconscious and how it's affecting you as far as relationship is concerned. You know, quite often, you know, it'll be like, I don't want to be in relationship or I have to be in relationship, you know, or, or having a, a an idea about what I'm going to have to give up for relationship or what I'm not going to get or what I have to settle for. And all these questions that are kind of lurking from the, the subconscious, so to speak, and controlling us in the moment. And then those subconscious choices, how well do they really keep us safe how well do they help us in the structure of life that's what this transit's asking you to think about asking you to look into and i suspect that life has given you plenty of opportunities to put tension under this especially right now it's a bunch of opportunities to see how well these things do under tension all right, thank you so much for listening to this video. Please click like and subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, you can be notified when I upload more videos. I also have some offering in the description. You can check out my website. I do a lot of readings, work with Pluto people. It's kind of my specialty. And definitely, you're welcome here. Never going to be too intense for us here. All right, take care. Have a spectacular day.